Joey Rulo auditioning for Dog Walker Interviewer. And this is my dog, Lyric, who's helping me out here. I just want to make sure that my dog, Lyric, is good with you. So I'm going to ask you a few questions just to make sure. First of all, I want to make sure that when Lyric has to go to the bathroom, it's really important to me that I make sure that I see it. Because the dog has to go to the bathroom every day. And if dogs don't go to the bathroom, they can die. And to me, that's like the most important thing that you could possibly do. So what I want you to do is demonstrate to me with this doggy pad um, how you would get the doggy pad because it's going to be in a very particular way that you're going to have to do this. First, you're going to have to anticipate that Lyric's got to go. So you've got to learn her patterns when she's going to go. And then what you've got to do is you've got to make sure you get that doggy pad. And once she's ready to go, you've got to wing it like a Frisbee and get it right in between her legs just like this. But you have to learn how to wing it like with a Frisbee. So I know you can do that, and you just have to make sure that, you know, I get the doggy pad at the end of the day, like a test tube, so I can see what happened here, okay? It's really important to me. Ask the interviewee what they do if a larger, aggressive dog attacks his dog and have him mimic how he tackle the dog using a pillow. To me, it's really important also, Lyric, you know, Lyric isn't a big dog, and, you know, Lyric is, is a lover. And Lyric's got to be protected, and you're going to be her protection. So what I want to make sure of is that you're going to be able to use this pillow or whatever pillow we pick, and you're going to be able to, if a big dog attacks Lyric, you're going to be able to dive in between the two of them with this pillow, and it's going to be life or death for Lyric. So just make sure that when you're using the pillow that you do it in such a way that you're going to be able to buffer her between that big, vicious dog. And at the same time, try to, of course, protect yourself. We do a time challenge asking the interviewee how many dog poos they could pick up in a certain amount of time. Our town is, like, really strict here. So Lyric goes a lot. I feed Lyric in the morning, and your average dog might go, you know, one time. But Lyric, she tends to go five, six, seven times, and she wants to go at every single tree in every single spot. So it's really important that you become like a professional uh, really quick, like, a, like going through a maze, being able to pick up those dog poops. So what's really important to me is I want you to show me how many dog poops you can pick up, you know, within a certain amount of time frame. And right now I have them all lined up. So if you can, um, just use the dog pick, uh, poop picker upper and if you can, show me how many pieces of poop you can do. I got my timer, and you could start now. Ask how well they can communicate with a dog by translating various emotive barks demonstrated by our interviewer. Lyric and I, we have such a great time together, and Lyric's very intelligent. Lyric knows so much things. Like, for example, Lyric, smile, smile. See, she just smiled. And the other thing is you got to be able to communicate with Lyric. She likes to bark, so... What I want you to be able to do is be able to communicate with her in dog language. And, like, right, Lyric? So watch this. So you got to do something like... I'm saying I love her. And she's saying she loves her back. So I want you to, like, ask her if she wants dinner, um, if she wants to go to the bathroom. You guys are going to be coming to the point where you could talk. Right? Watch this. She said yes. So you got to be able to not only tell, you have not only got to be able to say uh, what you want her to do, and, you know, I'm confident that you're going to be able to do that. So if you can just show me in the way you, do, the way you bark that you can do that with Lyric, that would be great. Interviewer wears a harness leash and asks the interviewer to take him for a walk around the garden, pulling back if the interviewer approaches anything dangerous like a neighbor's cat, pretends to poo against a tree, or bark loudly at a passerby. I know that we went over before with the pillow, which is the fail-safe. This is the last resort. But I want to make sure that my, my puppy's okay with you. So what I want to do is I want to put the collar around my neck, and you're going to, take, you're going to walk me. And when you walk me, I'm going to be going up to trees. I'm going to be, uh, you know, going around uh, peeing against fire hydrants and you know, 
yapping up a storm and maybe walk up to a dog or two and maybe we'll even try the pillow trick and see if that works. But, you know, here you go. If you can walk me, that would be really great. Uh, you can walk me. Get the interviewer to sniff out a hidden treat and then feed it to him. Well, what I want you to do is I want you <laughs> to basically show me, you know, that you're going to be able to train Lyric. And, you know, Lyric will do anything for a treat, right? Lyric, you'll do anything for a treat, right? So what I want you to do, like, for example, I got a treat. Lyric, come here. Speak. Smile. See, she smiled. So what I want you to do is you're going to hide the treats, and I'm going to run around the room, and I'm going to go look for them. And you're going to go around and look for them too. So we're both going to do that, and you're going to be able to figure out how Lyric does it based on that. Ask the interview to demonstrate their belly tickling and petting technique. What I want you to do, um, it's really important, because as you see with Lyric, she likes her belly rubbed nice, just like that. And she likes it rubbed from top to bottom. And then she likes her butt. On her butt, she likes her butt rubbed up. And see how she likes that? So what I want you to do first is I want you to do it to me on my belly. Okay, good. And then I want you to do it to me on my back because I want to just make sure that you're really good at this. See, Lyric likes the way you're doing it. I just want to thank you very much, uh, you know, for letting me audition. This was fun. I love improv. I'm confident that anything that is thrown up against me, I can do it. And I could probably think of a lot of other great, funny ideas before uh, the day of the shoot. Thank you again, Joey Rulo, um, casting uh, for dog uh, interviewer. Thank you.